What's up guys? Miss 254 Animator here and today I am going to be teaching you how to do a character turnaround in 2D. Most of you may know that it is very easy to to make a, a 3D turnaround when the character is in 3D or when you're using a 3D software. But what most animators have not discovered yet is uh, how to do a 2D turnaround. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. So the first step we're going to do is have um, your character and the character should be posed in five different ways five different I'm going to show I'm going to hide them I'm going to show you the five main key poses that you should be having you should be having the front pose the three-quarter pose the side pose the almost turn pose and the back pose if you hear me saying almost turn pose it is the one that is just before the back turn I just didn't know how else to name it so if you hear me saying almost turn just know it is um, that position after you have all these uh, all your five key, uh, main poses you have first of all you, you have to be very keen on how how similar they are like where are the height of the character the the width the just the, the posture the hair the length of the hair how the face um, facial expression is like they should be identical just like in real life how a real life character um, turns um, the head does not shift to any other parts is it is just usually similar but similar height similar everything just the pose is different so you have to be keen on that and what you're going to do is uh, make a mirror mirror a mirror flip of these three poses the three quarter pose the side pose and the almost turn so we're going to duplicate the three three poses that I have I have mentioned one by one I'm just, I'm just going to do it one by one the three quarter should be the last one And then you can mirror it um, you can just use you can just go to edit you go to transform and then flip horizontally like so and then you're going to duplicate the side view the side pose you're going to do the same thing to it you flip it you mirror it. you can flip it horizontally and then lastly we're going to to do the same thing to this pose Can have space between them so that it doesn't get messy and then you're going to flip it like so make sure that they are all aligned as you can see I am using rulers in case you're wondering what these blue lines are they are rulers they help me to know if I'm getting outside the if I'm if I'm, I'm making a mistake in the height of the character or where I should place the character to get the rulers you just go to view and then you click on rulers here and then what we are going to do is group every single layer into a different group like so like the front in its own group that's the way they are arranged you're just going to group them you should be having eight groups like so make sure that they are arranged the way it is here like the, this is the front one just make sure that they follow one another
oops i think i've made them uh, make sure that you don't um combine groups like i've done just a minute ago just a second ago make sure that you don't group a group inside another group as you are as you are relocating these layers Like so, I think now we're good to go. I think they are all nicely done. And then um, what we're going to do next is go to your windows, click on your timeline if you had not, if it was not on yet. And then you're going to go on, uh, sorry, before you do a, uh, that, you're going to overlap these images to one another. So you're going to drag these images on top of one another just be key not to be too much out of frame like so and since they are, and since they are on the you can you can you can lock your layer so that when you drag this you're going to drag it at the center since I I noticed that some of the images were being cut off then what you're going to do next is create click on create video timeline like so and then down here you're going to see three boxes you're going to click on them and then on the drop down um, arrow you're going to click on the drop down arrow then you're going to click on 0 0.1 seconds or you can choose 0 0.2 i decided to use 0 0.1 seconds since i want it to be a little bit fast yeah so the further the the more the seconds the slower it is going to be so that you have to put that in mind so i'm going to choose one second 0 0.1 second and then down here you're going to see this box uh, and before you click on it i want you to hide all the layers except one so you're going to hide all these layers except one like so and then we're going to duplicate it to duplicate it eight times like seven more times to make it eight and then on each layer we're going to match it we're going to uh, to make it correspond with the group on your right on my right so on the second layer we're going to and and we're going to hide the first group and then hide and then hide the second group Like so on the third one just um, have them correspond to one another sorry sorry about that and then, like so once you're done you're going to just play to play to click here on the play button and you have to make sure that everything is uh, going on well as you can see mine is it is it is rotating yes but 
it has a, a, a small of a glitch you have to make sure that there's no such glitches that may be due to my to how I I had um, I had placed the overlap so you can fix them it by moving the layers Yeah, as you can see, it is a little bit better. Just that the, the side one. I'm just going to show you how I'm correcting this in case you come up, you, you come across the same problems. I'm just, I'm just going to fix it together with me. You can have rulers to make sure that it doesn't get out of frame. As you can see, one of the hands is outside. So you can just drag it inside. See that was probably why it was having a glitch since they were coming off. So I'm going to counter check that one more time. As you can see, Like so, I think we can use it the way it is. I think it is much better now. And then you can make a G. I'm going to make. Um, you can choose to change the. Um, you can choose to make a GIF. So I'm going to hide the background layer. Hide the background on all the layers. How you make a GIF is file export. Make sure it is selected as GIF, and then it is um, on the looping options. You're going to loop to loop it forever, and then you have to click on the transparency box. GIF. I'm going to name it as GIF turnaround. One GIF turnaround. Um, I'm going to go to After Effects to change 
I'm going to go to After Effects to change on the background and if you want it, if you want, if you choose to manipulate it further, you can just come to After Effects. As for me, I want to change the background. Voila, here it is. You can choose to make your own background. As you can see, I can make the um, the GIF to have um, a reflection, yeah. everything shall be good and voila this is just so amazing <laughs> So if you are a new view if you are new here please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more tutorials and yeah